Hello, my name is Jarg. Welcome to the next instalment of Jarg Teaches Java. Now, in the previous episode, what we did was we took our very basic quick creative plugin and we updated a little bit um, to provide a tiny bit of extra functionality. Now, I'm currently in creative mode. If I do QC Jarg, you can see it switches me to survival. If I do it again, it switches me back. I've added a feature where it will change someone else's in, um, mode, game mode, and as you can see it's not changing me, but it's not changing them either because they're not online. You can assume that it would work because it worked for me and it did det determined that I was the target player and I was online. So, so far so good. The next thing is I want to add the ability to specify in particular that I want it to be game mode uh, 1, for instance, which clearly ignored that now because game mode 1 is creative. So how can I get it to deal with that? The second thing is, how do I get it to know that that's a number right there and not a string of text? Because that's going to be important for later on. Now I'm going to disconnect from that and we're going back to our code. We're in the on command. We've got lots of ifs going on here, but I've commented all of them, so it should be fairly clear what's going on. Check to see if it's a player making the command. Grab that player. Check if they're an op. And if they are, grab a target player. Remember, args0 gets us to this particular parameter, player name. We're determining the order of this. It's up to us to decide this. It's our command. Um, now we're going to work on args1, 0 and 1, give us all of these particular parameters. So how am I going to deal with that? Well, there's a little bit of tweaking I need first. And those, those things that I need to tweak are, I am going to, um, I'm going to assume at the moment that they have indeed specified a player name. In fact, if I run it again, let's just quickly go back in there and not specify a player name. If I just do, in fact, let's get the uh, console window up as well. There it is. So if I just do slash QC, you'll see that I get an error. And it says it doesn't understand. It isn't the um, the null pointer exception now. It's an array index out of bounds zero. Now that means that it couldn't find a name here. Right? Not that they're not online, but they don't exist at all. So how can I fix that? Well, the easiest way to fix that is to actively check to see how many of these arguments they've actually specified. So if we, if we try and count them and see if there are two, then I've got two values to work with. If I count them and there's only one, then I've got this. And if there are none, then I just change myself, perhaps. Um, that seems reasonable. Now, where am I going to do this? Well, I want to... I, I've already grabbed the player. I know they're an op, but I can't do this yet because I don't know whether they've specified a player name. So it's got to go above that. So I'm going to make a bit of room to put this uh, new block of code. And it's another decision. Of course it is. It's always decisions in this thing. So I'm going to use an if statement. So how do we find out how big this args thing is? Um, I can't just sort of keep typing in numbers here until it crashes. Um, what I can do is because it's an array, meaning more than one value or zero or more values, it's got these square brackets here. Because it's an array, I can ask it how big it is using the dot length parameter. Now, you can see the Java documentation is not showing up for this because I haven't hooked up the JDK Java docs yet. I'll do that later. Um, last time we set up the Java docs for the bucket stuff. So I can check whether the argument length equals 2. And if it does, then I'm going to have both the player name uh, and I'm going to have the game mode. That's, uh, I'm just going to put a comment in for now. I can do an else if here to see if args.length equals 1. And if it's 1, I've only got the player name. So that's just player name that I'm working with. Well, I've already written that code. That's all of this. So I'm just going to use all of the existing code that's there. And then 
Down here, I'm just going to format the code, down here I put my else, because if they haven't specified zero, sorry, if they haven't specified two parameters, and they haven't specified one, then I'm going to assume it's just QC on its own, and I should just change my own target, uh, sorry, my own game mode. So let's deal with that one first. So if it isn't both, it isn't one, then it's just going to change myself. So that's this bit of code. Remember I started with this bit of code, basically, but with the word player here. That's what I'm going to do, because I've already grabbed my own player data. That was one of the first lines of code. So there we go. If I just reformat that a bit, there we are. Determine whether we are in survival, and if so, change to creative. Otherwise, switch to survival. So we've dealt with the last possibility, which is if they haven't said anything about who they want to change. That's good. So this is already a better plugin, because now I can either change myself or someone else. But I can change myself by not specifying any of these parameters. I could just do slash QC, job done. That's good. So now let's work on the others. Ha is this one complete? If the argument's length is one, then work with just the player name. And just for clarity, I'm going to put the arg zero there, right? So that we know what, what we're dealing with. Um, well, args zero is used here to grab the target player and we've already determined if they're online or not and if they are we switch their, in their um, game mode so we've already dealt with that so the only one we need to add more code for that's new not that new is the first one where we've got two arguments we're going to assume that the first one is a player name second one is a game mode so let's see how this is going to work I can basically once again I can use some of this code. Let me just first of all put those argument indicators in because that's going to be useful to me. So that equals that and the second argument which is args1 is going to be the game mode. So that's uh, just so we know what we're working with. Well what do we need to do? Well since we know they've specified two arguments they must have got a player name so I can steal all of this code, all of it, every last bit from here and just paste it in. It is not plagiarism to copy and paste your own code. You wrote it once, so copy and paste is your friend, so use it where possible. But make sure it's sensible usage, because something needs to change here. So we've already dealt with this part, so I just need to deal with the game mode now. So I'm going to need to put a bit of code in, let's put it in here. So I know that they're a valid player, oh, let's just add that in. Uh, I know they're a valid player, so now I need to know if it's a valid game mode. If it's zero, that's okay. If it's one, that's okay. If it's two, my plugin isn't going to deal with that. Your plugin is. So I would encourage you to make sure you've got this latest version of this code and whatnot, and actually add to it. Add to it the fact that I want to change to uh, adventure mode as well. So how am I going to actually do this? Well, it's very easy actually. The game mode itself is an integer when we use this. If it's a 1, then it's survival. If it's, uh, sorry, it's creative. If it's a, a 0, it's the, the value is uh, we want to be in survival and so on. So those numbers are integers. The keyword int is, is the Java keyword to store a whole number. So I can have, I, I'm not going to do this, but int apples equals 9. That sets up a piece of memory to store uh, an integer value, which means a whole number between minus 2 billion something to plus 2 billion something. Only a whole number though. It can only store one at a time as well. So in this case it's storing 9. I can change it by doing apples equals 10 if I wish to. Or I can do calculations with it. Uh, oh, get back up there. Apples uh, equals apples. Ah, oh, can't spell. Apples plus 3. So now the value is 13. So you can do calculations with it. You've got plus, you've got minus, you've got multiply, you've got divide. Oh, there we are. So you can do calculations with it. You will also see occasionally things like that. Oh, um, where you've got apples plus plus. That takes the current value and adds one to it. 
So any code I happen to put down here that uses apples, that variable name apples, is actually going to get the value 13, 14 actually, because this sets it to 10. If I do plus 3 on this, that's now 13. The plus plus here makes it 14. So that's just how you use an integer number. Now in my particular case, we want to get an integer number from this args thing. So let's call it um, target game mode. It's good to use ex explicit variable names like this. Long variable names are okay. A and B are not necessarily good variable names. So target game mode, I can't just do args1. Even though we know that the first argument is the player name, the second one, args0, is the game mode, we can't do that because all the arguments are strings according to this, which means text, not integers. They have to be an integer if I'm going to use it here. So I'm going to have to do a bit of code around this to make it work. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to type the word integer, which as I've said, the keyword int is an integer. Um, I can use value of, oh, if I spell it correctly, value of which allows you to specify a string of text or an integer or both and it will uh, convert it convert a value into that. So for instance I want to convert args1 into an integer and this by the way returns a, an int so if I just uh, display that again it returns an integer as you can see here. Right? So uh, there's also, you can do get int value specifically. That's what I'm going to do, because it's an int here. There are different sizes of integer. You can have small integers, you can have a byte, which is a very tiny amount, or you can have a long integer if you need to store more than 2 billion billion, whatever the value is of an int. So what have we done? We've gone to arguments 1, which is our string representation of this. It's 1 or it's 2 or it's a 0. We've gone, converted it to an integer capital I, and then I want this int value to get a, a, a value that I can store here. It's a bit complicated. We'll come back to this in a later uh, example. So at the moment I've grabbed the target in uh, game mode. Now it's just a case of, okay, apply it. It doesn't matter if they're already in survival, then flip them into creative. I just need a simple if that says if it's zero, put them in uh, game mode zero, which is survival. If we've specified a 1, put them in creative. So some of this is not needed anymore. What we do need is target game mode. So if target game mode equals 0, then put them into survival. We're explicitly setting them into a mode here. So I'm going to change that to survival. If I can type it, which I can't. There we are. That's not right either. Survival. There we are. Um, switch the player to survival. If they chose uh, a value of 1, so I need to do another if statement for that, game mode equals equals 1, then switch them into creative because they've explicitly specified we want to be in creative. It doesn't matter if we're not already in survival. There we go. And we can extend this if we need to. That's one method of doing this. We'll tidy this up in the next part, I think. So what have we got? We've got a lot of code now. I've got the else section down here dealing with if it's just me setting my own mode or toggling it between two modes. I've got, if I've specified, where is it, one parameter where I give it just the player name, in which case I grab that player and I uh, find out their current mode and I toggle it between these two. And then I've got this much better one, um, or they're all good, but this is a, a more specific one that allows me to specify a player name and a target game mode, and that's this args1 here. We've done a bit of work to convert it to an integer, and then if it's a zero, we put them in survival. If it's a one in creative, that's good code there. So let's build it. In fact, before we build it, it's good code, and it's even more important than version 3, it's version 4 now, or point 4, I should say. We're almost ready to release this to the big wide world, I think. I'm just going to build that. Not much has changed, so it should be quite quick to do. There's our um, quick creative. I'm going to copy it into the right folder, so I need this. 
There it is, it's still only 3K, very tiny plugin. I'm going to pop that in the update folder. There we are. I'm going to flip into the terminal and just do a quick reload. And it's now version 0.4. And I should now be able to flop into this game here, load it up, and we'll see what we get this time. So I'm, oh, it's snowing, how pretty. Um, I'm currently in creative. I should be able to just do QC. There we are, and it is indeed toggling. Oh gosh, come on, <laughs> I can type it. Uh, it's toggling me. If I put QC uh, jarg, that's my one as well. So that's working, I'm being toggled between them. If I do one who isn't online, I'm getting the right message. If I do myself into game mode two, nothing, because I haven't put the adventure mode in. That's your job. If I put myself into game mode zero, that's working. Game mode one, that's working. If I specify both, but the player is not online, seems reasonable. If I specify uh, myself, but I put a value of oh, uh, something crazy, it does nothing because that's not included in my code, it just skips it. So what will make this code break? Well, I'll show you. That is not a number. There we go, internal error. So if we look at this, we can see it's given us not null pointer exception, not index out of range or array index out of range, but number format exception for input string Bob, because it's not a number. That's reasonable. That is one of the errors we are going to fix in the next example. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.